Hey, hi all. In this video, we will uh, discuss about permission set licenses. So, first of all, what are permission set licenses? So, permission set licenses entitle users to access additional features not included in their assigned user license. Users can be assigned to uh, any number of permission set licenses. So, for an example, if we have a Salesforce platform user license, then you you will have uh, access to some of the objects. But if if there is new installed package and you want to access object of that particular package, then it is required for you to have a that particular permission set license with your user. Then only you will be able to view or you will be able to modify or do any update on that particular objects which are from that particular manage package. In the same manner, we can have different permission set licenses which we need to do any changes in that particular area might be an analytics uh, for an example so uh, after you grant uh, the user with the with the permission set license might be via using a permission set that is created from that particular permission set license then that particular permissions will be with that particular user permission uh, permission set licenses and permission sets they both have different purposes to solve or to uh, different features to provide so permission set licenses extend the functionality of user licenses with permission set licenses you can assign more permissions to users than their user license supports in the same manner permission sets extend users functional access without changing their profiles so we have permission sets which extend the which, which extends the functionality of the user on top of profiles in the same manner we have permission set licenses which extend the functionality of users by giving that extra uh, license or an additional license there there will be no change in the license which a user has so as you can see if you if i go to any one of the user for an example i am salesforce or uh, to any other user if i go to user integration So if you see we have only one license uh, that is analytics cloud integration user now if i want this particular user to have a particular permission set license assigned to it then i will just go to this that is permission set assignment related list and then i will click on this so it, this particular permission set will be uh, permission set license will be enabled that is analytics platform what it will have the uh, what all the user permissions it has it will be listed here you can go through it so in this way you can assign a particular permission set license to a single user all analytics permission set license are in use so this all are in use that's the reason we cannot give it okay we can try another one i'm not very sure if that will be there but we can try it out okay so now if you scroll down and if you go to this section permission set license assignment so this particular permission set has been assigned to this particular user okay and if you go to means like if you want to see how set licenses which uh, which we have in our org so you have to just go to uh, company information and in this if you go down you have permission set licenses so if i click on analytics platform if if you can see it is active status total licenses there is only one license used licenses one that's the reason we were not able to assign it okay and whether you want to enable it for integrations you can check it out if you are creating a any permission set out of it, it means like uh, which re which required some of the integrations or uh, the particular user will be doing something in then integrations Oh, in the same manner, you can see the CRM Analytics Plus. So this CRM, how many users it has? There is no user, so we cannot add an assignment to it. I will be assigning it to integration user. So all the permissions which we which we have seen in in th that particular oh. Uh, in that particular permission set license 
that all will be with that particular user so now user will have all these permissions okay so this is one of the use case like how we can assign a permission set license so and this is how we can manage them how we how we can create a permission set out of uh, means like with with a uh, with that particular permission set license so we have to just click new if you want to create a new permission set then while we are creating a new permission set we have we have this option like who will use this permission set we will choose none if you plan to assign this permission set to multiple users with different user and permission set license so if this is the case means like <clears throat> you you are having different users to which you want to assign this particular permission set and to different uh, users who are having different permission set licenses in that case you will you will select none and then later on you can add them manually while going to that particular user and then uh, going to the related list and adding the particular permission set and per uh, particular permission set license accordingly choose a specific user license if you want users with only one license type to use this particular permission set so for an example i have created a permission set uh, with uh this particular that is salesforce api integration so all the users who are having this particular license only they will they can have this particular permission set other than that it will fail uh means like other than that it will give an error uh, that this particular permission set cannot be assigned or uh yeah cannot be assigned to this particular user in the same manner choose a specific permission set license if you want this permission set license auto assigned with the permission set so what does it mean by the auto assigned with the permission set so for an example you have created a permission set with a permission set license so in this case for an example uh, we have this particular we have this particular license that is a permission set license once you create the permission set so for an example analytics permission set and so if this is a permission set license then only the particular user for an example i will go to integration there is an integration user i will go to that particular user i will edit the assignments as you can see there are only two if that is a permission set license i am not very sure if this is a permission set license otherwise we will be creating a new one so hmm. okay so this is analytics cloud integration user analytics cloud integration user okay analytics is the permission set name so this is the it is available for this user why it is available because so i will let you know so as we all know we have created a permission set analytics with the permission set uh, sorry with the license which is analytics cloud integration user and we are assigning this particular permission set to a user who has the license analytics cloud integration user okay now i will go to another user for an example that is i am salesforce so in this particular user uh, we have user license salesforce and we try to assign the analytics uh, analytics permission set so we will not have that permission set itself because that particular permission set has a license analytics cloud integration user so all the users with this particular license can only have this particular permission set okay now we, again we will go to company information and we will check for permission set license that is analytics user then commerce admin permission set license seat okay so i will try to edit it oh sorry this is not the one
we cannot change this things okay once it is assigned we can only rename this we cannot change this license so i will try to clone it and if the in while cloning it we are getting the option to select the new license that is good but it will be cloned and the license will be same so we have to create a new permission set so i will just click on new so i will i will create a new permission set with that particular license that is a permission set license that is comma set min comma set min is there if it is not there then i have to create with okay so this is there test so i have created a new permission set i will just go to i am salesforce user and now the license uh, the permission set has been created with a permission set license so i will just go to edit assignment and as soon as i will add the permission set that is test the particular permission set license will be assigned to the user so once this is saved yeah now we can say now we can see this particular permission set license is also assigned to the user so this is how the permission set license assignment and creation of the permission set if there if you want a permission set license if you want to associate with uh, the particular permission set license with a permission set then uh, accordingly you have to choose that particular license and then once you give that particular license to the user uh, sorry once you give that particular permission set to the user automatically the permission set license will be added or will be assigned to the particular user so that's all for this video thank you